at A&M EDM and they had 26 Herco machines, but they've just bought their 27. Paul, why have you gone for this particular model of machine? Yeah, it's a, a full five axis VNX 42 UI machine. Uh, it's got just over a meter in the X660 and the one 520 in the Z. We pretty much bought this machine just to do this one specific job. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're ramping up production on this engine? We're planning on it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the looks of it, it's obviously a very, very intricate part. Are you doing everything on this machine? Absolutely everything you see on this block there has been machined on a BMX 42U. Okay, so of course you like Herco's, um, having 27 in your machine shop. What is it about Herco and what is it about having the same brand of machine tool that makes your machine shop more efficient? Well, Herco is very fine and very user friendly, very easy to program. Uh, if everybody's using the same sort of machine and same control, staff can just move around from machine to machine. So have you gone for any options on this machine? Not really, no. This is pretty much a bog standard machine. Oh, really? But the, the Z-axis looks very high. I mean, just look at the tool that you've got in there. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's a big boring head. You just have to bore, line bore the, the bearings all in one. And on these machines as well, I know you've got some older Hercos around the machine shop. What differences have you noticed in terms of progression to the modern day Herco? There is a little bit of progression, software basically really. Uh, but from reliability and accuracy, not much difference to be honest. And what accuracies are you looking at? You generally work around about 10 microns. And you mentioned software then. What impresses you about the Herco software? It's just so easy to use. So easy to program parts at the control. You can program while you're running. You can be cutting the job and programming your next one while you're standing by the, by the machine. A lot of people talk about this. And how do your operators find that? Very easy. And also, I've noticed on a lot of the larger machines, you've got platforms. Yeah. How does that help you? It just helps us get in. If you need to lean in to see exactly what you've machined or measure something, it just makes life a little bit easier. And service, of course, you've got so many Herco machines, but what do you get from Herco then? They're very good. You'll always get an answer off them. If you have any problems, generally within a day, be it service or applications, the problem's generally sorted. In just a few words then, what would you say anyone who's looking to buy Herco? Yeah, from, from the ground up, from build quality to software to the spindle to the accuracy, just, they just do the job, they're just very good. And you here at A&M, I mean, you've got such a huge variety. You're, you're making small parts to huge parts. So what's your limitations? Well, pretty much nothing. Uh, we've got a machine with a 3.2 metre table to a machine with a, a table that's like 600 mil. Wow. So really, they basically tick the boxes for what they you tick need. tick all the boxes for what we need to do, yeah.